Well, here I am at uh, the Red Rocks in Colorado on a trail. <clears throat> it's actually a little bit above Red Rocks. And in my particular case, I got a little bit more on this walk than I bargained for. Like, I thought this was going to be a scenic walk. And you can see it's beautiful here. But that would be a scenic walk, like, you know, to see some beautiful things. So, you know, to like a lookout or something. And, uh... Turns out I got to the top, which is all the way up there. And after I started coming back down, I saw this, and I realized this would take me to a, to, a, to a different area than I parked at, and then I had to get back to where I need to get. <laughs> and I uh, I would have to get to the end of this trail here, you can see that parking lot there, and then walk that roadway all the way back on the other side of this rock area here. And then it was gonna be a long, it was gonna follow this road that's a long windy road up to, back to uh, the parking lot that I started at. Which is actually a longer workout than I guess it was gonna take me to get back to where I came from. So, the task in front of me here is to hike back up from where I came, wearing just my t-shirt and shorts with no water, and it's hot out. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay and all that, but uh, obviously, I should have, I should have studied this a little more and realized that this was gonna be more of a hike than I originally planned on, and I definitely should have brought some water with me and probably, and probably been a little bit better dressed than I am. But whatever, we're gonna make the most of this and shoot this video here and get a beautiful video of scenic Colorado around the the Red Rock amphitheater area. So I read these rocks are at least 1.2 billion years old. And they're actually here long before the Rocky Mountains themselves were formed. So, I'm not a geologist or anything, but I can appreciate how ancient these rocks in front of me really are. The crazy old, so. Yeah, I tell you, it feels a bit of a privilege to, uh, to make it out here and see this stuff. Unfortunately, you're gonna hear me Get winded here in stop block is not in the bestest of shape, which is to say I'm really not in shape at all. And uh, so I'm gonna take this nice, nice and slow, but definitely gonna get my workout in today. So Bugs.
So this area here is the, the peak of the trail. And this descent is the return trip back to where I parked at I need to be at. So, <laughs> at least I'm closer, right? Probably the only uh, rocks like this that I've seen that are redder than this is when I was driving through uh, Utah, Colorado, uh, Utah. <laughs> Sorry, when I was driving through Utah, especially Western Utah, like where uh, Wyoming, Utah, Arizona, kind of that, that part <laughs> where it all comes together. And uh, I remember seeing the rock there were even redder and more, well, more, just redder than this. But this is no less beautiful, so. See, it's a long way down this hill here, but it's totally safe. You never any danger of falling off of this. So they've done an excellent job of building this trail up. hear on the, the video I'm making here but off in the distance you can hear the sounds of engine racing there's a I haven't seen it but I heard that there's a um, a raceway you know like a NASCAR raceway or whatever I don't know if it's NASCAR but um, it's definitely a speedway and uh, that's what you're hearing or if you can't hear that's what's off in the distance right now it's kind of unfortunate I mean you know it's so naturally beautiful here it's kind of unfortunate to listen to this whine of you know engines while you're walking amongst this natural beauty especially this ancient natural beauty these rocks but whatever you can see all the closed area signs definitely don't want people leaving the trail here and you know presumably getting into some trouble here but me, I love to climb and things, so, you know, like I, I'd love to be able to walk up that rock face right now. I think it's reasonably safe, but uh, can't do it, so can't do it. But definitely when I was younger, I'd definitely be up on that right now, so. Fortunately, I'm a little, little wiser than what I used to be, so. Yeah, this is beautiful, though. the trail right now itself is walking on the rock at this point. Yeah, so I guess this thing, if you uh, end up getting on a trail in uh, your situation you weren't really expecting, you weren't really prepared for, I guess my advice is, you know, kind of what you see me doing right now, just take it slow, take breaks, definitely catch your breath. You know, and just I uh, don't, you know, of course, and of course, you know, don't freak out. I mean, not freak out at all, but just take it easy, take it slow, you get to where you need to be. Just gotta take each step, one step after the next.
because it's sort of like philosophy for life, right? Unbelievably beautiful. Probably the only thing missing from these pictures, I know kind of wild I think out here, but uh, how cool that'd be to see a, uh, you know, like a black bear roaming that grass here or there or mound goat or something, right? I don't think I, got, I don't think there's mound goat out here, but I don't know what uh, what wildlife is native to this part of Colorado. A lot of birds though. Took a, it's a lot of I think. I'm not sure if they're hawks or eagles, but I saw a lot of them. You see a lot of them flying around out here, hunting, nesting in these rocks. They were very cool to watch. Beautiful yellow flowers. I guess these beautiful purple ones too. Those ones are nice. A little steep right here. Yeah, it does jump <laughs> up a little, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. How are you? Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, me too. Should have brought some water with me. I suppose when I get to the end of this trail here, I'll take a picture of what this trail is named because I actually don't know. I mean, I'll upload this to on YouTube and there you, go. you guys can all watch me walk down this trail. So, like you said, I would definitely recommend that if you're going to come to this trail, that uh you know wear wear boots like hiking boots for sure like i'm wearing tennis shoes right now and you know i'm doing okay but every once in a while you slip a little bit on the sand so if you're not completely vigilant those beautiful flowers if you're not completely vigilant i can totally see taking a misstep so i definitely recommend hiking boots um dress for warm weather uh t-shirt shorts bring a towel so you can wipe your face off and definitely bring water and uh, a little sunscreen too something some spf protection because there's a lot of sun out here so oh and hat that's the other thing i'm not wearing is a hat which i know i'm going to totally regret when i get to my car because i'm going to look in the mirror and see that i've got some red spots on my face but i don't think i've been out here long enough to get sunburned but who knows? Is that beautiful barn there off the distance? That one. Pretty cool. See, at the top of this hill is a, a radio antenna. Some sort of a building. Not sure what it is. Probably park ranger lookout. Making sure everyone's being safe. See the butterflies? <laughs> no, I tried to get a picture of the butterflies. <laughs> I 
Let's see here. I just may step here a little bit. Not too far. You know, I kind of wanted to get shoot down this hill a little bit. It's a steep hill, but you know, they definitely don't want you there, so I'm not gonna do that. But there's a beautiful valley here. It looks like it's a steep one to be. It's too bad you can't get a vantage point to see down it. That's okay. Look at that rock. Let's see if I can step here a little bit. I also don't think they want you here, but let's see it's reasonably here. I can see this this valley here I was talking about, right? It's pretty steep down there. Definitely a steep drop, but holy crap, it's beautiful. Hey, how you guys doing? How you doing, guy? See a parking lot right there? That's where I started at, so I'm glad to see it. Well, looks like I'm gonna live. <laughs> Make it back to the car. Make that shade. You heard that? That was actually my tennis shoe was slipping right there on the gravel. That's kind of what I was talking about. Definitely, definitely wear hiking boots on this one. But like I said, you could do it with tennis shoes. Just be very careful. Unbelievably, huh? <clears throat> so the back side of that rock, nice and smooth. Oh man, I would really just love to be able to climb up the backside of the rock. But I can see why they don't allow it, you know. All it takes is somebody to fall down it. That'd be just a beautiful walk up the backside of that rock though. And just think of the views you'd get up there. But you gotta be safe, so. Oh, yeah, there's a picnic area here at the start of the trail. Good place to camp with the family. Ooh, family, anyways.
Oh, here's the sign. There you go, Red Rocks Geological Road Trail. Beautiful trail. So, well, that was fun making it, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, be safe. <laughs>